so much, I've heard so much. And all these years, I think I was always a politician in a way. I love politics. making a fortune. In fact, at 12 o'clock every night, I would take the tapes out of the register. After 12 o'clock, the money was nine. Forget the, forget the government. I attracted, I attracted all the entertainers. I mean, you name them, they came here. They played here, they didn't want to get paid. They just said, I did Capitoli. Could you imagine that? It was David Allen Cole, Jerry Jeff Walker, Joan Baez, all that stuff. And I've known Jimmy Watts it's over 20 years. Come here. Anyway, they're real. I got a reputation that you only think Tony can get it. And then, in the meantime, we were on live ammunition in the Everglades. The guy, I got a little Haitian with me next to me, puts his head up. Bump. All right, Jeremy, you are a fifth generation conch, so Captain Tony is someone that you've known of your whole life. For sure. And uh, actually, it's, it's great. The first, my, um, one of my first memories of Tony was I was actually uh, back down from school over Thanksgiving break and I had run into a couple of girls from Canada that I had met on the student leadership conference. Mm -hmm. So we're walking downtown, I've got one on each arm and then we come across Tony. I said, ladies, I, I want you to meet, uh, meet the legend, a man, myth, little legend, Captain Tony Terracino. And he looks at me, he goes, kid, I said, forget about Tony, Tony wishes he was you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of my favorite uh, uh, favorite memories of Tony, but uh, it was a wonderful time getting to uh, to interview him and spend time putting the story together, and I felt it needed to get out there to the public. Well, you did a great job of doing that, and you actually had contact with them right before he passed away. Yeah, I, uh, I was, uh, I visited him in the hospital. I received the last autograph he ever gave three days before he passed, oh. and uh, it's a touching tribute, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, stick with me, kid. I've given you stuff no one else has. I'll make you a millionaire. <laughs> Is that what he told yeah. you? Okay, so we'll have to watch the documentary to see, yeah. <laughs> to see that quote. Now, obviously, Captain Tony had an impact on you, Jeremy. Do you have a, a favorite memory of Captain Tony, or, or what do you like most about the legacy he left behind? Living life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Don't leave anything unturned. No matter what, it's the breaks. And the breaks is when things roll your way, you scoop them up. You, know, you roll with the punches no matter what happens. And in life, uh, you'll have obstacles. You can't worry about that. Just go with the flow and be good to your fellow man. Mm -hmm. ha have a heart. Have a heart for your fellow man. And women, as t Tony <laughs> believed, it, especially women for Tony. Yeah. But uh, he loved his he, women, didn't he? He, he did. <laughs> uh, I don't think there was a, uh, a, a set of a set of boobs he didn't like signing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, Jeremy. So this has premiered in Key West. What's next with the film? Okay. Well, we, we, we're talking to a couple other theaters around Florida right now. We're also trying to get uh, get it into film festivals. Uh, 
uh, trying to get some uh, uh, some more investors on board because it costs money to get it into these uh, into these festivals. It's not just getting it into the festival; it's press kits, so the whole nine yards trying trying to promote the film. So we're uh, we're looking at doing that right now, and we've also uh, uh, we're also going to be uh, making T-shirts and selling posters. Uh, uh, but uh, it's going to be coming back. The, uh, due to the success the other day, they're good, after the uh, season's over, they're going to be want to bring it back to the tropic. So be looking forward there. Uh, it's probably going to be showing down here for Captain Tony Days also, which is a festival that's held around his birthday every year in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, the sky's the limit. That's awesome, Jeremy. And now. Do you have the itching to do a documentary over another character? You've got this one out of the way. Well, actually, it's kind of funny you said that mm -hmm. because uh, I was talking to Rick Lopez and uh, uh, we, we were on Conktown Live. But actually, this, uh, this the the idea for this documentary, I, I threw threw it by him uh, on uh, in his office, and then we brought it up on Conktown Live. But uh, Conk Baseball. Oh, a small little island baseball, a lot of fans. You got a human, a real human interest story, and so that that's a possibility. And my wife is actually going around. I bring her, bring my camera around with me, and I sh I've shown her how to uh, how to do a few things with it. And so she's filming the process of getting this film out there. So there might be a documentary on the document. <laughs> yeah, the making of a documentary. The making of a documentary. Very cool, Jeremy. Well, I wish you much, much success. An awesome job on the Captain Tony years. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you much. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in with me this morning. I hope that you'll be able to join me right back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay.